Sure. Stand up so we can get a look at you. Well, you didn't get there for Help me out. Yeah, thanks. I guess I was given a bum steer being told Yaki would see me through. Now that you've got your man, Sheriff, you better get along with him. You bet I will. I ain't taking no more chances with this train robber. Oh, a train robber, huh? Yeah, and that ain't all. This time he robbed a bank down the old Dorado way. Darn near cleaned it out. Uh, he hid most of the money, but I found some of it on him. Got it right here. Enough to send him up for a spell. Well, come on, let's get going. Clint, that's a low-down trick you just pulled. Oh, uh, thanks again for helping me. I'll feel a lot better when I get this bank robber behind the bars and uh, get that bank money under lock and key. Well, Sorry to see you go, Sheriff. Maybe it'd be smarter to stay over and take the first stage through. No use taking chances. Well, maybe you're right. That's what I'll do. Oh, say, can I have a room to keep him into the stage, Con? Sure. Mel, fix the sheriff up with the room. The stage won't be here till tomorrow. Glad to. Tough luck. I'm sorry. Thanks. But I'm not in jail yet. No, but you're as good as there right now. One doesn't kick him off to ride in here. I don't know. But I do know I'm taking no chances. That book shows a nice profit, Ray. Three bank jobs, two stage holdups, one express office. Not to mention a few odd jobs. Yeah, like the halfway house here. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad your wife had to sell it to me. Ain't it? Oh, yeah, but don't get any ideas about giving me the slip again. Oh, I'm sure you wouldn't be thinking of anything like that, Sheriff. What'd you say your name was? Why, uh, uh, oh, Perkins, ma'am. Panhandle Perkins. Glad to know you, Pump Handle. <laughs> oh, no, no, not Pump Handle, ma'am. Panhandle. It's all the same. <laughs> well, Pan, things couldn't be better. She's for me and against you. Well, when they find out we are rangers, she'll still be for it again. She'd be for killing for letting you live. <laughs> no, sir, I'm quitting. Sheriff always die with their boots on. But I'm aiming to die in a nice, soft, comfortable bed. Oh, look, man, nobody will find out I'm ranger. No. All right, all right, let me down. Come on, take the cuffs off. We'll call the whole thing off. the bank president. I got some bad news, Yankee. I just came from Delano. They've organized a law committee in the town with six of them acting as investigators. Sort of a secret six. I'm one of them. Yeah? Who are they investigating? Us. That's not the worst of it. They've made a deal with the Idaho kid to lead them. Do you know who he is? Well, I don't know his real name. But I do know he was ahead of the group that went after the Evans gang in Red Bluff. And they were tried and found guilty. And I don't know all of them but me. What does Idaho kid look like? I don't know. I never saw him. I left town just before he took over. And I figured on doing the same thing again. How do we know but what he ain't in this territory right now? I'm going. <laughs> Howdy. Oh, the Idaho kid. That's what some folks call me, ma'am. Say, has he been telling you things about me? If he has, don't you believe him? But I want to, because I'm afraid I'll not be very welcome at Halfway House when Mr. Yaki learns who I am. No need to be worried, Darlene. I forgot to tell you, Tex is a lawyer. Where are your law books, Tex? Did you bring them with you? Sure did. Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the law books will be along later for stage. We'll talk as we go along. Got to hurry if we want to get a halfway house before sundown. Hello, boys. Come on, Kate. Did 
that sheriff getting out of here with all that bank money? Yeah. It would be too bad, wouldn't it? Ooh. I still don't like it. That's too much of your money to risk. Wait, no, stop crying. You're going downstairs and gamble your head off. In fact, you're going to be a gambling fool. That's me, all right. But remember one thing. You must lose. Well, that won't be hard for me. Ever since I first opened my big brown eyes in this world, I've always been on the losing end. <laughs> Twenty-five and a red. You win again, Sheriff. It's your lucky day. You bet this is my lucky day. Why don't you put it all on the double O, Sheriff? Make a killing. Around and round she goes. Where she stops, nobody. Hmm. Twenty-eight and a black. You lose, Sheriff. Lady Luck forgot where you live. Hey, wait a minute. Now, I can't play for keeps. I can't lose that. It ain't my money. What do you mean it ain't your money? Well, uh, I got it from him. It's uh, part of the bank loot. Do you mean to tell me that you lost all of my bank loot? Well, you're as bad as he is. Why, he's worse. He ought to be in jail himself. He will be if he tries to put you in. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, Sheriff. Stick me in jail and listen to me tell him what you did with the money you took off of me. Oh, I'm a ruined man. A ruined man. Oh, I can't never be no sheriff no more. I don't want to go to jail. Well, you wait up. You don't get these bracelets off of me quick. He's right. I knew a sheriff once that was hung for doing just what you did. I can't remember what I've done with the key. It's a good thing you didn't swallow it, you no-good waster of my hard-earned money. Keep out of my way, you ex-sheriff. Congratulations. Glad to see you getting out of his clutches. The drinks are on me. Set them up, Bell. Make mine plain soda. Yes. Excuse me. But this is mine. Oh, no, it ain't. It belongs to the house. Fork it over. Oh, no. I worked hard for this money. You call blowing a safe hard work? You stole it. You mean you did? With that crooked wheel. Thanks for the favor, stranger. Well, I reckon you'd do as much for me if my back was turned. Pick it up. Go ahead, pick it up.
Give it to him. What? That bank robber? That bank robber. Any man who can whip Red ought to trail along with me. That's exactly what I came here for. To trail along with you. Sheriff, go get my gun. Ex-sheriff, I mean. Oh, Clint. This young lady is the late Joe Arthur's niece, Arlene. She's here to take over the halfway house, according to his will. I didn't know Joe had a niece, or ever left a will when he was killed. I can't believe it. Well, he did. I'm representing Miss Arthur. My name is Tex Haynes, lawyer. I'm here to inform you that she is the owner of this business, as well as a lot of other properties around here. Well, if that's the way it is, that's it. I always thought that Joe was holding something back from me when he let me buy in with him. Shake hands with your partner. I'm sure we'll get along all right. I'm sure we will. Step up to the bar, folks. The drinks are on me. This is Joe's niece, Miss Arthur. She's moving in. Get outside. I've been trying to place you. Haven't I met you somewhere? I wouldn't be surprised. You being a lawyer and me having to appear in court several times in my life. <laughs> oh, you fool around in law too, huh? <laughs> when I'm in court, the law doesn't fool. Sorry, I thought I knew you. You may have seen me, mister, but you don't know me. My mistake. Well, goodbye and good luck. Thank you, Mr. Haynes. I'll look you up the first time I'm in Delano. Goodbye, Miss Arthur. Goodbye. such a bad life. Why don't you two bury the hatchet and kind of string along together? Oh, yeah? So he can find out what I did with my bank loot, come back and lose it like he did the money in my belt? <laughs> I should say not. Well, I'll never ask you again what you done with that loot if you just let me trail along with you. I don't want to be no lone wolf. All right, all right, you can string along. Well, thanks, sir. Uh, just between us three, uh, you did hide that out of dry wells, didn't you? <coughs> Wait a minute. I, I didn't mean that. Maybe the rest of the loot is buried at Dry Wells or some place near it. Who knows? You want to keep him here? You might see if he'd like to play along with us. people in the middle of the night. Good coffee. Have some. Seeing as how I made it, I will. I guess you got in my letter, Mr. Wilde, or you wouldn't be here. What letter? Don't ask questions, Panhandle. Meet Tex Haynes, sometimes known as the Idaho Kid. Howdy. Howdy. The kid works on the same side of the fence we do. Well, I'm on the fence, too. Think of all the lead I dodged putting you in good with Clint Yackey and his gang. <laughs> I was just trying to part your hair, Pinetto. Have you joined up with Clint Yackey? Yeah, that's the general idea. Sort of on probation. But so far, we haven't anything to go on. Where does Yackey fit in? Well, he's a kingpin. 
My habit is cagey, ain't he, Dave? We'll have to bait a trap to draw him out. I understand some of his men hang out in town. Yeah, I figure to start my trail there in the morning when I go to the bank to deposit this ranger money we used to convince Yaki I was one of them. It'll be safer there, I'm telling you. That red has got a mighty hungry look in his eye for our money. <laughs> Bad news today, Haley, about the Idaho kid. Now I've got worse for you. Arlene Arthur moved in the halfway house just after you left and took over her uncle's interest. She probably take over his interest in the bank, too. She could. Joe owns 60% of the bank stock. What will I do, Yankee? You won't do anything. I'll do it for you. With the Idaho kid moving into town, it means we've got to make a clean up and move on. Well, where do we start? In the bank vault. When you open up for business in the morning, have the money in bags on the floor. Red and the boys will walk in like customers and walk out with the cash. No trouble with shooting. Miss Arthur's welcome to the bank after we empty it. But what about me? Where do I come in? Don't worry. You'll be taken care of. this money for safekeeping. Well, you came to the right place. There's 500 head of cattle sold. That's right. Uh, what's this entry? Oh, that, uh, that was a loan to John Phillips. We better get out of here quick. from Yankee, and I'm giving it to you.
got to load it. Him. He double crossed it. Wait a minute. You never told me you were going to clean out the bank. What were you doing there? Fixing to do a little business on my own when Red here started the fireworks. Better trail along with us. We'll all do better. Yeah, maybe we will. All right, I'm willing. It's a deal. Good evening, gentlemen. Howdy, howdy. We'll call this meeting to order. Despite the presence of the Idaho kid, the bank was raided. A member of this committee, John Ellie, killed. All the money that came after is back in the bank vault. But that's not enough. We want everyone connected with the raid. And when we catch them, we'll give them a fair trial. And if found guilty, they'll hang. Did you get a good look at any of them? I did. The only one that wasn't masked. Are you sure he was one of the raiders? He shot at me. I started a story going around town this afternoon that a quarter of a million dollars had come into Delano secretly and was in the vault of the express company. What good will that do? You don't think Yaki would trust his men with that much money, do you? He'd be afraid they'd run out on him. Who wouldn't? If that amount of money doesn't bring Yaki into this town himself, nothing ever will. I must admit, that's a big hunk of bait. To catch a big fish, you have to use a big hook, Henry, even though there's no real bait on it. <laughs> Too bad it's night and we can't see the expression on their faces when they find out there's nothing in that Fargo safe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid the lamp will be on us if they don't show up. <laughs> Say, that is possible. Possible, but not likely, Henry. Not if I know Mr. Yaki. But we'd better get all set so we can spring the trap once they're in it. Denaro. Well, I got it straight in Delano. It'll be the biggest haul we ever made. Wait a minute. Why did you do that? Because what's going on out there is none of your business. Everything that happens at Halfway House is my business. Your Uncle Jill thought that, too. And look what happened to him. Just what did happen to him? Butt in and you'll find out. I intend to. 
When we reach town, you boys spread out and cover the streets in case we should be discovered. Uh. What's the matter? Didn't the boys invite you to go with them? No, but I reckon they still think of me as being a law man. Uh, but you know I can't ever be that no more. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'll be seeing you. with all their names and the jobs they pulled in. Good work, Panhandle. Now you get and keep out of my way. He's with him or not? Well, I'm not sure. But I'll bet he's one of them tying up at that post. Do the job together, Red. <coughs> this is your first time with us, so you stay here as lookout. You all keep that one covered. I'll go around the building and come at him from the other end. When I close in, we'll get him and the two inside. the chance you tried to shoot me in the bank. Oh, I shot above your head. Get Tex Haynes. He'll explain who I am and what I'm doing here. We could see what you were doing here. You just stopped me from arresting Yaki in the act of blowing that safe in there. Since when does one of Yaki's own men arrest him? I'm a Texas Ranger. If you're a Ranger, prove it. Well, get Tex Haynes. He'll do that. All right.
All right, get up with your hands in the air. All right, come over here. Well, look what we drew. Mr. Haynes, the lawyer. Or if I'm not mistaken, the Idaho kid. That's possible. You know it is. I've been suspicious of you since I first saw you. It looks like you hold the winning hand. Well, we always do. You made a mistake in giving yourself in this hand. Well, I've had losing hands before, but I'm still here. All right, get on your horse, kid. Don't care if there's no sun tomorrow Let the stars fade and fall from the sky After all, what's the use since we parted? I don't care since you told me goodbye I don't care if I lose earthly fortune I don't care if I live now or die How could life hold a meaning without you? I don't care since you told me goodbye I don't care if I never hear music It would only bring tears to my eyes not a song did you leave in my heart, dear. I don't care since you told me goodbye. I don't care what the world says about me. I don't care since I trusted your life. Though I realize I'm a traveler. I don't care since you told me goodbye. The Idaho kid don't seem worried none. He will be in a minute. Well, have you made up your mind about me? Not quite. Some of the boys are for shooting you now and getting it over with. Well, there are worse ways to die. I'm thinking of one that you won't like. Shouldn't be hard for you. Believe me, it isn't. So what are we waiting on, Yaki? We've got the Idaho kid. You know what he did to the Evans gang. He hung them all but me. Let's do the same thing to him. You going to save yourself before we take you outside? No. Except that I still don't like the idea. Piggy asked you right away. We got bad news for him. Hey, I just come from Delano. They know you've got their man, but they've got young wife. They go to try and find him guilty, they'll hang him. They let me talk to him, and he said to tell you he had a little black book with all your names in it. The book's gone. Where is it? Dave White's got it, I tell you. I've seen it, but the committee don't know it. He said to tell you if you didn't get him out, he's going to turn it over to him. All right, Mr. Haynes, you're a lawyer. Tell us how to get Dave White away from your committee. Well, you could send someone with this message. We have Tex Haynes. Hang Dave White, and we'll do the same with your man. And that's just what's going to happen. Get going with that message. Well, why me? I just come from there. Besides, my feet are killing me. I can't imagine what's wrong with it. Well, sure, sure. I'm going right now. Well, oh, wait a minute. If I were you, I'd send Miss Arthur with him. The committee might not believe him. Go with him. And tell them that if our man is not back here by the time that clock strikes ten, the Idaho kid will be dancing on air. I'll tell them.
for an hour now, you've stuck to the same story. I'll give you one more chance to change it. Look, I've told you who I am, why I'm here, what I'm doing in Delano, and why I was with the Yankee gang last you night. You still insist that Tex Haynes wrote to you asking you to meet him here? That's right. The letter's on file at Ranger headquarters. You expect us to swallow that story about your being a Ranger? We know that you showed up at the halfway house wearing handcuffs and trying to get away from a sheriff. If you're a ranger, why can't you produce your papers and your star? I gave them the panhandle, my partner, to hide. Just in case the Yankee gang got suspicious, they wouldn't find them on me. That's what you say, but you can't prove it. What's the matter with you? Oh, my feet are killing me, huh? You must be these stirrups. Don't you know that every minute counts? Two men will die if we don't get Delano in time. I'll die before we get there. <laughs> My boots are killing. Oh, come on. You've had a fair and impartial trial. You men will give your verdict by the card you put on the table. A red card means jail. A black one, a rope. All black. Stand up. Say, partner, you got a message for whoever's in charge of law and order here. Concerns a fellow named Tex Haynes, better known as the Idaho Kid. Come with me. For attempted bank robbery and the killing of a bank teller, you'll be hung at 10 o'clock. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, you can't do that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Well, hold everything. You can't do that. Well, I suppose you're going to tell us that he's a ranger. Well, sure is, and I'm working with him. Yesterday you were a sheriff, and he was escaping from me. Maybe we'd better investigate you, mister. Give them my papers and star pan, Yeah, I'll show you who's a ranger. No, I'm going. For the life of me, I can't think what I've done to them things. Well, for the life of me, you'd better. Well, it's your fault. You told me to hide them so Yankee and none of that gang could find out who we are. That's just what I've done. Oh, come on, Panhandle. Think. What'd you do with them? Oh, I can't think of nothing. My feet hurt me so bad, I can't remember nothing. Mr. Wright, if you hang Dave Wyatt, yet you will hang Tex Haynes. They've set a deadline. If Dave isn't back at 10 o'clock, it'll be too late. They sent you with that message? Yes. They wouldn't dare. But they will. If Dave isn't at the halfway house at 10 o'clock... They want us to exchange our prisoner for theirs? Yes. It's up to you. The verdict stands. I'll rig the gallop. You'd better start thinking and doing it fast. That rope is almost around my neck. No sign of Dave on the road. I've had a fellow watching for over an hour. Now, bring us those things. Turn back, turn back, go time and thy flight. Make me a boy again just for the night. Say something? Longfellow. I don't know who he is, but he sure has forgot you. Well, he's your friend. He don't care what happens to you now. Oh, I wouldn't say that. After all, maybe my friends think he won't hang me. I know a lawyer comes in handy sometimes. In a very few minutes, you won't be much of anything. I'll say you won't. We're ready to swing him any time you give the word, Jackie. Won't be long now. We'll take him off his own horse. Ha-ha! <laughs> well. Now, ain't that right nice of it? We're going to give you the last ride on your own horse. Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> I can't think of anything nicer, mister. Thanks. <laughs> Works good, Frank. Bring the wagon back. I, uh, I'd like to be granted one last request. Granted? Panhandle, for not being able to remember what you did with our credentials, I'd like to leave you one last thing to remember me by. Oh, gosh! My boot! Oh, boot! That's it! That's it! 
Yes, he had. No wonder my feet have been killing me. Oh, Lord, no wonder my feet have been killing me. Here, help me get this off. Yeah, there you are. There you are. Now, now, who says we ain't rangers? David Wyatt, Norwalk. On time. We'll take our orders from you, Ranger. Well, you'd better follow me, because we haven't much time to stop a real hanging. By the way, this is a record of Yaki's crimes and the money they got for each job. In case I don't get back, the names are in it, too.
Well, we lost them. the Texas letter in person. Now, I'm still wondering what letter. Tell him, Texas. Well, when I found out I was coming to head Henry's committee, I wrote Dave a letter. But to keep it quiet that Yankee was our game. And I told you a funny story. Yeah, and I've been laughing about it ever since. Well, <laughs> no, but Yankee and his gang aren't laughing now. No, I don't guess they are laughing. But Henry, go easy on Bill, and you she made it possible for me to get away. I see she gets off easy. If I ever get a vacation, I'm coming back here. I hope it's soon. Goodbye, Ranger. So long, all man. <laughs> well, I always did say two heads was better than one. <laughs> Good luck. 